Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. I went over to Google and I wanted to get an idea as to uh, President Obama's level of activity. You know, when he sits in that room, I think on Tuesdays, he's got uh, Joe Baby Biden with him, then he's got David Axelrod, and they try to figure out who they're going to whack next with the predators. Well, according to Google, uh, since Obama took office, uh, they've launched 193 drone strikes. Hmm. It's 193 drone strikes. I have no idea how many people would have been killed because usually there's more than one that gets whacked when a predator hits. But that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Now, this is the same president. When he was senator, he was all over Bush because what Bush was doing, he was pouring water down somebody's nose, you know? Well, he wasn't doing it, but he had his boys pour water down somebody's nose to make them think that they're drowning so they could talk. That's how they ended up getting Osama, if they got Osama. I personally don't think they got Osama. I personally think that was just a bunch of hype. Obama needed a, a nice jump start for his campaign. So, yeah, I'm the guy that got Osama. Well, I don't think he got Osama. But anyway, I think Osama died of kidney failure a number of years ago. I think about eight years ago. But anyway, so now you got Obama. He's launching predator strikes against Al-Qaeda. And he's killing a lot of people. Well, see, they don't have predators, you know what I mean? They just don't have the technology to have predators. I mean, they live in caves, for God's sakes. But they do have bombs. So what I also read they do is one for one. You know, you launch a predator at us, we're going to launch a bomb at you or your people. So we're getting a whole lot of people killed unnecessarily, you know? Because if we stop shooting predators and killing their people, maybe they'll stop killing their people. But, you know, I mean, Hillary, you heard what she said, they're a peaceful, loving religion. She's referring to Islam, of course. You know? Al-Qaeda, you know what they follow? They follow Islam. Yeah. There must be a disconnect. I mean, it can't be the same Islam. You know what I mean? But there's only one Islam, isn't there? I don't think they've got, like, different Islams. I think there's only one. What do I know? But what I do know is that uh, I just find it fascinating and pretty much amazing that here you have Obama jumping all over George Bush and his administration for waterboarding. Who's jumping over Obama for whacking everybody? I mean, you know, he sits there with Axelrod. Okay, we're going to whack this guy. We're going to whack that guy. What is he, the Messiah? Oh, yeah, I forgot he is the Messiah. I guess that gives him justification to whack anybody that he wants, including unborn children or even late-born abortions. Yeah. It's okay. Just put him in a shelf somewhere in a closet. Let him die. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares anyway. The mother didn't care. And she probably didn't even know who the father was. So nobody cares. You know? I did a video this morning and I talked about how we're more concerned about how we kill our animals, including our pets and our dogs, than we do unborn children. Anyway, it's just amazing. I just find it really fascinating how, how uh, Obama can go out there and launch 193 predator strikes and get away with it. Well, he's not getting away with it. Al Qaeda's coming back and you know, they're killing innocent people, but he's still getting away with it because the government's not stopping him. I don't think there's any stopping this guy. What do you think?